so I have my tapping tool here. Here's my tapping tool. And I have the extrusion. And I have the tool which I talked about in the design blog. And I did not give this tolerance, uh, this tool any tolerance whatsoever. Um, but, uh, so it is tight, but it should be tight, so that's fine. Uh, the wicking is has so good tolerance in printing, so it actually fits. But we need to give it a little bit of kick. So I'm just gonna hit with the backside of some plastic or rubber. And we can, it's, we can hear that it's uh, in. And then we can actually turn the extrusion. Which we have more control over than the tool, the tapping tool. So just hold the tapping tool firmly and we can start it. It is starting to grab, which is nice. And we want to go maybe back and forth a couple of times to release some of the metal which are which wants to come out as well. <clears throat> We need to get at least one uh, M M5 by 10, you know, halfway or at least six millimeter inside. Let's add one M5 by 10 and see. This is far enough by a lot. Um, by having this guide, we don't have to worry about getting a skewed start. So, that's the quick tip of the day, the DIY quick tip of the day. <laughs> 